thank you, Jake. Dade County students are leaning on each other during a time that would have been their homecoming celebration. The school community is mourning the loss of one of their own. Two other students remain in the hospital after a crash last night. Channel 3's Joy Duke spoke with school officials and friends of the young woman who died. She joins us live in the studio, Joy. Well, Greg, Cindy, 17-year-old senior Alexis Moore, known to her teachers as Lexi, was killed instantly in that two-car crash. She was a member of the school's band and was set to perform at tonight's game. Though she won't be there, students and staff are making sure the Friday night lights will still shine on her memory. She was the best out of all of us. What should have been a fun and exciting day at Dade County High School turned out to be one filled with sorrow. Before the homecoming parade, Mr. Farney, the principal, and I learned that three of our students had been involved in a tragic accident. School officials say those three students were on their way to the parade when the crash happened just after 6 p.m. I saw them at Wendy's right before the accident. And I just, I, I can't believe it happened. We didn't know when the parade had started. We didn't know until we got back. Investigators with the Georgia State Patrol say the 17-year-old driver, Logan Gordy, crossed over the center line, hitting a Jeep commander while trying to turn on a steep curve. Uh, trying to make sense of it all has been a challenge, not only for me, but obviously the faculty, staff, and students as well. The impact of the crash killing 17-year-old Alexis Moore instantly. It's, it's been really hard on everyone. You know, I've known her since she was a little girl. And, um, you know, to have her taken away from us like this has been very difficult. With tonight's game still scheduled to go on. There will be a hole tonight and, and we'll all feel it. Heartbroken students and staff members are now celebrating Lexi's homecoming by wearing her favorite color green to the game. Having her uh, as, a, as a kind of a center point, or, you know, a, a key component of today's uh, activities was very important. Where the ambitious high school senior will be crowned Dade County High School's honorary homecoming queen. Well, three passengers in that Jeep, including two small children ages seven and nine, were also taken to the hospital. Their conditions are unknown at this time. The Georgia State Patrol says charges are pending the outcome of their investigation. Live in studio, Joy Dukes, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.